PAL word, or should I say Pokemon with guns? When I heard about this, I couldn't help but give it a try. As a huge Pokemon fan myself, the mere idea of a Pokemon using guns to shoot at other Pokemon and actually killing them is just mind-blowingly awesome. In addition to that, the price tag of only $30 made the decision very easy as well. Alright, we're gonna play hard because we are Giga Chats. Finish setting up and start, yes. <laughs> now, I wanna be a man. Why does only the body change? What about the face? Where's random? Oh, R. What the fuck is this? <laughs> She's thick, man. Holy. <laughs> what the fuck? is that this guy's like bloated to the maximum holy shit. look at those fucking stilts <laughs> oh my god i kind of want to go with this guy man can we get better hair though there we go okay so this is our character why are the hands in his pockets i don't know because he's cool The tree holds the truth. <laughs> oh, the game looks good. Oh wow, I can I can climb on this. Lol. Oh wow, I can climb everywhere, can I? Lol. Okay, so the tutorial is right here, but it doesn't tell me where to Oh look at that. Can I attack you? Am I dying? Or am I winning? I think I'm losing. Oh I dodged! B Die! Oh, I don't have... Woo! No! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, no. Okay, the, dropped all the items. Respawn. Okay, so this must be the hard game mode, right? We need to play smart. Interesting. Cool. Okay, so it tells me to go... <gasps> what is this? What? Who's this guy? Here, take some basic supplies. You need to tighten up if you want to survive out here. What? What are you looking at, huh? Bitch. I'm gonna get you next time. Okay. <gasps> what is that? Wait, can I get rocked this way? Is this inefficient? Guys, I got a stone. <laughs> I think this is inefficient. Guys, there's a... Uh, what are these? These are sheeps. Ooh, level up. You have unspent stat points. I guess we get HP because we need to survive. What? I get a hundred? Of course. Press, b open the build menu. Okay, so, but we need a good location, right? This location sucks. Now, where do we... Oh, look at that. This looks like a good location for a camp. Look at this big one right here. Will this guy attack us? Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> That's a thick boy. Oh, I'm wet. If you are wet, you are slower. What, what was that? This is literally like Pokemon. <laughs> this is literally exactly it. Okay, I like this location. We're gonna build our camp here. Alright, so B. Workbench. Right here. Mm hmm. Thick, yep. Ooh, level three. Okay. Select a recipe. Repair. Ah, you see? I told you. We need a wooden club. And a choir. Okay. Like, uh, how? where's my equipment? What is this? Red berries. A versatile ingredient that is delicious, raw, or cooked. They can be found anywhere on the island. So these are basically... Can I put it here? 
requires a small feedback okay i also made myself a pickaxe and a stone axe and then i was ready to gather some materials the pickaxe was for stone and the stone axe is for wood nice way of holding that thing <laughs> Uh, we need to go. Okay, so how do I switch weapons? Uh, so I tried pressing 1 and 2. They didn't work. Uh-oh. I lost my pulsewear. Shit. I don't have a pulsewear left. Craft a pulsewear. Luckily, the tutorial told me exactly what to do. I had to open up my inventory and then switch into the technology tab. And this is where I found a bunch of recipes that I could unlock using points that you gain when leveling up. Are you sure you want to unlock it? Yeah. What is this? Facility for storing captured parts. Items. <gasps> a bow! Oh, I love bows. Wait, we need to sleep. Uh-oh. I don't have wood and fiber and wool. Uh-oh. Am I dying already? How do I switch the weapons? Oh, it's the mouse wheel. Hey, there's no way it goes down that quickly, bro. Come on. Like, if these are together. I'm pretty sure they will attack me all together. But this one is alone. Come on. You little fucking Okay, wait, again. <laughs> One more time. Kaboom! After spending a little bit too much time exploring and not worrying about the sun setting, I found myself in the darkness without fire or any shelter to protect me. Oh, look at the jumps! Yeah. <laughs> it just rolls down the fucking hill. <laughs> They're sleeping. Wait, what happens? Ah, okay, I'm cold. Literally, like, okay, so like it's second. Ah, okay, bro, that's bullshit. I'm hungry and cold. Oh, no. Wait, I need to eat. Hä? Hey, of course, me. What do you mean? Eat. All right, um, shit. I think I'm gonna die. Can I go through the night like this? I don't see anything. I have wood, but I don't have wool. I wonder where... <gasps> I know how to get wool. I need to kill this guy here. The Lambo. Okay, can we do a charge attack? Die! Boom! Ah, we got wool. See? All right, we need a bed or something. Cloth. Okay, so we need cloth. We need one more. I wonder if they all attack me if I attack this guy. Hopefully not. <gasps> hey, I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing health. What the fuck, bro? <laughs> I'm just murdering his friend right next to him. He doesn't care. Okay, come on. I'm hoping that when I have the cloth, I'm warm. Please. Dude, use the cloth, man. How much do I need for a bed? Bro is dying without a fire. Wait, can I make a fire? <gasps> Campfire! Okay, I you just... I, it's, it's a little bit cheating. Wait, why can I not do the fire? Eh? I have the wood. Eh? Okay. All right, come on. Come on! Please. Oh. Oh, I can eat a fried egg. I'm fucking hungry now. <laughs> you should have been dead right now. Okay, bro. Stay mad, bitch. Can I take damage? Oh, no. Okay, I was taking damage. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, no. That was stupid. Hey, stop. Stop it. Okay. After surviving my first night effortlessly, I was ready to capture my first Pokey, I mean, Pal. Yeah. All right, we're gonna catch a Pokemon now. Yeah, and this is where I did my first classic mistake. I forgot to acquire my Pals. Attack Pals to weaken them, then press Q to throw a Pal Sphere and capture them. All right. 
Let's get ourselves a sheep. Whoa! Wait. I need the weapon. The correct weapon. Yeah. Oh, it's dead already. Boom! Woo! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey! When do I capture them? Hey, I have past this. Wait. Hey, I crafted. Oh no, I didn't pick them up, did I? Oh no, one second bro, I need to pick up my, my spheres. So yeah, I had to do the walk of shame back to acquire my PAL spheres and then I could finally capture my very first PAL. Oh. Uh oh. It's two. Two against one! But I'm good. I'm a good gamer. Alright. <laughs> my goodness! I'm gonna get you too, bitch. Seventy-three percent. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay! I also captured myself the sheep, and then it was time to build my very first base using the PAL box, which is used as a storage type of building that can act as a base somewhat center. Okay, build a PAL box in an open space. The surrounding area will become your base. Yeah, this one right here. This is gonna be our base. Some of them now with E. Okay. Will he follow me? You're not gonna run through the fire, are you? Okay, how do I get you back? Oh, I see. And I can swap between them. I wonder how many you could have. Wait, I saw that earlier, earlier right? Pal deck. Aha, uh -huh. wow. You can have so many. No, is that the... P is that the Pokedex, guys? Is this the Pokédex? Totally different. It's a PAL deck. Totally different. <laughs> Alright, so the PAL box. Where do we put this? Oh yeah, I need to build it. Build it for me, bitch. Aren't they supposed to be slaves? Hey! Build this. Why do I have to build? What the fuck is that bar? The sheep can build, I think. The chickens are too dumb. Aha. Access the power box and summon a pal to your base. Summon a pal to your base. How do I do that? Oh, pal to... Okay. Alright, so this one is in my base now. Pals without beds will get stressed. Increase the player level by capturing 30 pals? What is this tutorial? Okay, wait. Is the axe good? Oh wow, it's actually really good. <laughs> Stupid. Fucking moron. Wait, I can't attack in water? Oh, my dude, my dude is helping me. I can't... It Lol, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, we need to get more of these balls. This is something I also didn't know, of course. Different pals do different jobs. For example, the sheep is able to do handiwork, which means building stuff. And the chicken is mostly used for gathering and farming. How did I miss? <laughs> God damn it. Oh my god, I just wasted two balls, man. Uh... What does this uh, on the left mean? Plus six? Is that XP? Plus eight? <gasps> LOL, look at this guy! 
You see this big guy up there? What level is he? Is he friendly or will he attack me immediately? I can't kill him, right? Oh, look at this guy. Look how fat he is. Damn. Where are you going? Seeing this big guy was definitely really cool, but I think it would have been much cooler if it actually attacked me or if there were some sort of pulse that by nature are aggressive against humans. You know, some of the pulse, I think it would make sense if they attack you by default. Now, I haven't fully played the game yet, so it could potentially be that that already exists and I just haven't seen that in the game yet. It's really easy. Yeah, well... It, it how am I supposed to die? I can't. Yeah, I haven't slept in a couple of days with my character, but there seems to be no disadvantage to that. <gasps> what is this green thing? Collect it to mythology other than and offer them a statue of power to improve your ability to capture. Cool. Where is my pal? Bro. This is one annoying thing about the game that is going to happen a lot. Pals can get stuck. For example, in my situation here, my pal got stuck in the river while fighting another pal. And then it couldn't get out of it again, which means that it wouldn't do any jobs around the base. The only thing that can unstuck them again then is to put them out and in the base again. So basically they respawn after that. Work for me, bitch. It's working for me! I have to do nothing! Oh, God! My weapon is damaged though. How do I repair? A repair bench. Oh, I see. I need wood for that. Okay. <laughs> I keep tossing those fucking balls. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, be, it's because it's on cue. <laughs> no! I'm not doing this on purpose. I wanted to press W, but then I accidentally clicked on Q. On Q. I fat fingered. I'm sorry. At this point, I probably should mention that this is actually my first survival game, so the tech tree or whatever you want to call it in PAL world actually looks quite nice. And I really like the way you can level up and then spend your level up points into the tech tree and decide which structure you want to get next. And also depending on which PALs you have already unlocked, aka captured, you unlock additional buildings in this tech tree that you can unlock using points. Hanging trap. Catches parts that pass through, only effective on small parts and humans. That's too good not to do. So yeah, I do apologize if this seems like a very slow playthrough, because yeah, I have never played the game and for me this was a first time up for most of the things. Security settings? <laughs> Is this a router or something? <laughs> Especially the campfire in the beginning, if someone in chat didn't tell me, I would have probably died. Or I don't know what would have happened, maybe I would have respawned. Lol, who's this? Hello? I've got some good items in stock. Bye. I have no gold. Okay, so this guy sells some... Wait, it costs 120 to buy one of those? Mm-hmm. Sell. And he gives us a tenth of the price. Okay. What is this? Unlock fast travel. Oh, nice. Okay. Where are the Lamberts, though, boys? Where are the Lamberts? Guys, I can't complete the fuck mission because there are no per none of these monsters. The Poke you. There, there. No, I just tossed the ball. Fuck. God damn it. I pressed the wrong button. Okay, we found one. Why the fuck did you do that? <laughs> I'm just going to unequip this guy. Come back. Yeah. Come back. Press 4. I thank you very much. Oh, look at that. So many. Oh, yeah. Come here. No. Ooh. 
good. Mm -hmm. Finally. <laughs> Where the fuck are you? Good. But by the way, it's this option right here. The aim sensitivity, that's gonna be like, I don't know, four to, four to five times higher. At least three. I have to do it again. View base, base upgrade. Maximum parts working at base. Go to two, maximum number of bases. And build a shoddy bed. I can't see anything. God damn it. Okay, I want to capture one of these. I wonder what they do. stupid idiot those typical double a games <laughs> what a fucking moron next it was time to gather some more resources so i could upgrade my equipment because i wanted to go out and capture a couple more pals that are higher level than those level one at level twos that i've been capturing so far <laughs> what the fuck is that how are you holding the spear bro there must be a bug all right i gotta deal a lot of damage now right holy shit 200 damage it's like i'm totally useless and the chicken's doing all the work oh wow <laughs> oopsie i gotta be careful oh no chicken kill him no Wait, the following parts were dropped? This really is like Fortnite, isn't it? You just get everything, bro. Take all. Why is it on X? Pick up. Okay. This is my dude. Okay, what is this? Lift. I can toss him? What? What? what huh? What am I... How do I... How do I? How do I? I can't get it away from me. <laughs> Press F. No work available. Oh, I see. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. After that, I started focusing more on the base building aspect or survival aspect of Pal World, which was, you know, to build up your base, get more pals into your base so they work for you and you generate resources while you're not even in the base. And again, as I said before, this took a little bit of time because, yeah, Pal World is actually my first survival game. And so, yeah, for me, all of these survival mechanics were new, while I'm pretty sure some of you have already seen them in other games before. Nonetheless, it was really cool to see how the pals work for you while you just stand there and order them around if they work that is you come here i want you to work okay you go right here okay do it <laughs> i told you to go to the copper ore man not the bush what are you doing? Huh? Come back here. Hey. Go. <laughs> he doesn't want to do it. <gasps> this guy's scary. I want to have a new Pokemon. Whoa! Holy shit, my shield broke! Holy... Whoa! <laughs> Wait! 
Jump on it. No. No. I have no more parts. <laughs> Look at this raid. What the hell? They're destroying everything. Kaboom! I'm cooking Lambel kebab. And I'm literally having Lambels right next to me. I'm cooking their brothers. Alright, okay. So I want this black dude because he's cool. I need to capture him. Oh, wow. He's doing a lot of damage. Uh oh. Wow. Oh, wow. This. Wow. Come on. 50. Yes. No. Guys, I deal no damage. This is this spear is weak. Now that I know a little bit more about the game, I actually deal no damage because of the difficulty that I chose, because it makes me deal four times less damage than in the previous difficulty, which I think is way too little damage to compare myself to the other pals, because they deal 200 damage while I sit around and deal 20, which I think is unfair and makes myself really useless compared to the pals, which are overpowered. You piece of shit. I mean, I guess there's nothing to do here. So that's why he's slacking off. Is it a female pal, the upset one? <laughs> now, we don't want to make any assumptions here, okay, bro? We can check it was a female that was slacking off, yeah. <laughs> the one that got angry and pissed off, that was a female one. Oh, look at that. There's a chest. No way. There's an actual chest in the game? It does look like there's magic around the chest. <gasps> oh, gold coins. What? <laughs> look at this chicken, man. I'm eating and I see this one is being hungry, man. <laughs> you think you're getting something, bro? Hell no. Mm. Offer lift monk effigies to enhance your capture power. Oh, yeah. Oh, can I capture you too? People told me I can capture people. I wonder if I can attack him. Come on. <gasps> I have a merchant. Lol, what happened now? Party. Merchant. Humans are not pals, therefore they do not possess partner skills. Major injury. Okay, punch does 12 damage. Empty skill slot, empty skill slot. Raid? Herd of man eating wild pulse is invading the base. Oh, on the top here. Lol. Wait, I wanna catch one of those. Dire howl. 30 damage? Oh wow, that's a lot. I can't see anything. Woo! Oh, wow. Damn. Fuck. Oh, no.
Come on! Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Basic dodge with control. Oh, I didn't know that. I lost one of my Pokemon, though. When it reaches zero, its strength is exhausted and it is incap inca inca incapacitated. Place an incapacitated pal in a pal box to restore itself. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, what what are you doing? <laughs> it's like trying to climb the house. <laughs> Look at this! It's like trying to climb the the ceiling. Let's go explore and uh, level up a little bit. We also need to collect some. Pa Wait, how do me? How many balls do I have? How can I see my balls? <laughs> Guys, where's my balls? I have no balls. <laughs> and we need to get some more. What is this sound? Is this the Pokemon here? Lol, what is this? Ah, uh, <laughs> That's a shiny Pokemon, right? It's a shiny account. <laughs> I don't have a Pokeball. No. Wait. Don't attack. Please stop. I need a Pokeball. <laughs> Wrong fucking button! Go away! <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I can get three. Come on. Hurry up. Okay, the, the AI is stupid. <laughs> I can't get too close to the camp. Because my other Pokemans will attack it. No! Go away! <laughs> I can already see it. No! Come on! Please! Yes! It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. No! Fuck! I was having a shiny Pokemon, man, and I lost it. It's like, you know, when you find one of the rare Pokemons in the original game and it just flees. I knew this was gonna happen, you know? I can catch 10%, but I, like, 70%? Hell nah. Like, there's way... It wasn't even 70%. I lost him on 80%. How do you lose on 80%? You don't. You know, it's gotta be uh, one of those chances like in XCOM where they tell you that it's 50%, but in actuality, it's actually only 40%. You know, to make the game more interesting. Oh, yo, 80%? Nah, bruh, it's, it's not 80%, bruh. Uh, you, you think it's 80%? <laughs> you idiot. To ease my frustration, I went on exploring a little bit to capture a couple of parts, but instead, I actually wasted a couple of my spheres, like always. Who would put this on cue anyways? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I keep throwing those balls, man. Stop. Oh, and I also found these interesting looking eggs. One of them was green and the other one was normal rarity. And my first thought was that you actually eat them. So it, to me, it looks like this world is not randomly generated. Is it correct? Did they actually handcraft this world? And it does make sense because then you can allow for a proper progression in the world. Baseball bat. How much damage is it? This is one thing that irks Come me a little on. bit about the game, and I think it should be fixed quite fast. The targeting sometimes is so annoying that even if you're standing right in front of something, you just won't activate it. 50 damage? I need a water Pokemon. Oh, wow. Look at that green one. We're getting this one. What level are you? Uh-oh. Level 15. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Um, um, um. What? He, he wasn't even facing me. You were facing in the other direction. Huh? Oh, God. Oh god! Run! Ah! What the f What is this attack? Bitch! Hey, I can't move! <laughs> oh, oh. Ah! No! Oh god! Uh oh. Um, I'm just gonna try to capture it. One percent. No. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's so fucking annoying. Four hundred. Oh no. I can't, I can't, I can't fucking... Yeah. Yeah. Are you fucking dumbass. Yeah. Good. Wait, did it itself? What? It's inside the wall. Hey. Um, I have to unbuck this somehow. Um, shit. Amazing. <laughs> Come on, 
please. Caption twenty percent. I can't. Oh! God damn it! Where is it? Okay, so question is Do I hit it one more time or not? How many balls do I have left? One ball! One ball! I don't know, Chief. Come on, man. Please! Please! 50%! Yo! Oh my god! <laughs> I got it! On the last one! Oh wow! Look at this big one! It's planting! Ooh, it's planting! Damn! LOL! Oh, those are the ones that can log wood? <gasps> I knew this! Bandwagon fangirls? What the fuck is that? No, they're all recovering! But I have this level 8 guy. There's no way. They have no chance. Uh oh. Holy shit! Attack, you dumbass! Oh, I'm out of... Ouch. Okay. Wait, that was easy. King of the forest, level 38. 4000 HP. Yeah, how about we... We do that later, okay? Oh, I have unspent skill points. Work speed sucks. I want some more... But attack is only 102. The, the difference over here. I don't understand. Why is it not 110? Yeah, for example, stamina. 110. Huge increase. But attack is only 102. But I'm thinking about it like this. If 100 is the base value and you get 2... That is literally a 2% increase in something. And then if I take stamina and I increase that by 10, that is a 10% increase. Like, uh, I don't understand why that percentage value is such... so different. This guy eats like a fat ass. Food. Holy shit, look how much food this guy needs. You fat ass. Stop eating all the food. Holy shit, he's thicker than me. Actually, though, if you compare the legs, I think I'm almost as thick as this guy. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> What's happening there? <laughs> He's literally riding him. So yeah, this was my first experience in Palworld after about 5 hours of playing the game. And I have to say, the more I played the game, the more fun I had and I couldn't stop myself from playing the game. For some reason, the game just gets better and better and better the longer you play it. And I really want to build up my base, I want to capture more pals, I want to grow stronger and I want to basically build this entire automatic base that gives me all of those resources. But I also have to say that this is probably Probably mostly because I never played a survival game of this kind ever. This is my first time and obviously I'm still learning and I'm still understanding things. But it's awesome. I'm enjoying the experience a lot and so I will definitely play again. I have played again already and I'm gonna probably play until I beat the first boss or I hit a certain threshold like probably kill the man that is close to me or maybe uncover all of the cards. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time. Peace!